Hello guys and welcome back and today I want to tell you guys about how to set up a remote drive on a TerraMaster NAS because TerraMaster like many NAS brands right now in 2019 and coming up to 2020 have great user interfaces like this they've got application support they've got all these different tools and things you can take advantage of with your data but so many of you buy a NAS drive so you can just access the files and you want to use your proprietary third-party software your editing software and more to use those files so as good as these operating systems are that the NAS has arrived with that you access via the web browser or mobile apps what you want to do is access these files with your own file manager and the way we're going to do that today is by a network drive I'm going to show you guys just how easy it is to map a network drive so first thing we want to do is open up the TerraMaster software that it recommends you download when setting up your device the first time. TNAS, the latest version of it, scans your local area network and as long as the device that you are using, in this case my Windows laptop, is connected to the same network as the NAS, and that is to say that the NAS and your laptop in this case are all using the same internet connection in its most caveman form, if you want to describe it that way, when you use the refresh and scan option, the NAS will appear here. And then what happens is you click there and there'll be an option to map drive. Now, if we go down here and go into the PC settings of my laptop, we can see that I have no mapped network drives. All we've got right now is my local C drive, which is looking awfully full. Now, what we do is we head to that map drive option and it will invite us to put in the login credentials for our NAS. Once we've entered them, you can click remember if you want. I'm going to, but you don't always have to do that. Click OK, and then it will ask you to select which letter you want the drive to appear as. So traditionally, a C drive is your main hard drive. A D drive could be an optical disk drive and more. For now, let's go for the letter T for TerraMaster. Next, it will put a, present a list of all the folders on your NAS that you've created and made shared. Again, by creating different user credentials at the point of setup of your TerraMaster NAS, if we go into the control panel, I should be able to show you that real quickly. When you create multiple users on your TerraMaster NAS, you can set up storage quotas and credentials and user admin rights to different folders. So whichever user account you logged in with just now, it will only show the folders that that user has permission to see. So say we go for the video folder, straight here. Then we click confirm, configuration is now saved, and that's it. We click back, and now when we go down to that configuration tool here, we've now got that new drive. It's that fast and that quick. If we go in here, we can see that right now that folder is empty. But if we go into the NAS, we'll be able to deposit some files into these folders. Now, it really is that straightforward in order to access files and folders on here. And now we can close this web browser window if we so choose, because now we've got access to the content of that folder here. And if we take some folders from my local machine here, let's go for some um, let's go for some paint.net files, nice straightforward editing software. Let's go for some of these PDNs here that I've used from some of my previous videos. Copy them into here. And as you can see, this is the NAS. It's copied them in nice and straightforward. And now we can do, let's play around and do some editing, shall we? And remember, this is a file that we're accessing over the NAS network. Now, it is a small file. So what we are doing is still only generating a moderate amount of sites. At the same time, this is these are files and folders on my local machine, not the NAS. So if we take some images here and we copy them in, we can, we can edit all of these different files simultaneously and with each of them happening in real time, both with files on the NAS and outside the NAS. So we'll do there, we can do some other copied stuff, top three. And we can do all the usual effects we can do with a file over the, uh, the network rather than a local file. Then when we save it, we can choose whether we want to save it directly to the NAS where it's originally based, or we can make it a localized folder. And creating a mapped network drive 
is really that straightforward. I hope you've enjoyed this video. There's lots of other options open to you with the TerraMaster NAS. And of course, I'll be going through a number of other NAS options before the end of the year. But right now, that has been how to map network drives from the TerraMaster F5422. If you've got any questions or recommendations about the setup for you, let me know. And I will see you guys on the next video.